good evening, everyone. Um, I'm just going to provide an update on the phase one open space works or areas that we're currently under construction. I'm then going to move on to the some update on house building and the highway infrastructure work. So I'm kind of broad, broadening this out a little bit than the, the title in the agenda. So if we start with the open space areas, um, to the east there, you can see the water park uh, feeding along towards the west, the Northern Greenway, uh, connecting up to the Western Park. As you're aware, we've been working on this since um, July, August uh, last year. Um, it is uh, constrained by seasonal constraints, unfortunately. Um, but throughout the last sort of quarter, or, or first two quarters of this year, we have been finishing off all the planting works and we have uh, been finishing off the seeding works. So May was uh, unseasonably wet uh, and that kind of put us behind, um, but we have now finally completed all the seeding works uh, throughout uh, at the end of June. Um, we started in the water park on the east and we worked towards, as I said, the western park in the west. So the seed has started to germinate. I can see a nice green hue across the area, across the site. Um, our contractors are still on site at the moment, uh, carrying out marginal and aquatic planting. They've got 50,000 of those to install, but they should be completed with those works at the end of this week. Uh, there's also some snagging works to the main three meter wide asphalt cycleway, combined cycleway footway, uh, and those works are ongoing. Um, the water park um, and the remaining sections of greenways and the two play areas, which you can see here, uh, designated as leap one and leap two. We'll get them opened up as soon as the grass establishes. I think at the last forum, um, based on completion of the seeding at the end of May, uh, I suggested, um, we certainly always sort of talking about early summer, but I suggested sort of the end of June, beginning of July. Um, we're now a month behind completion of the seeding. Um, so I think the best thing I can do at this point in time, looking at where we are now, is just to tell you that uh, we'll, we hope to have these, these areas opened up uh, for use by the public during August. Um, it, is a, it is difficult to predict how long it will take the grass to grow, um, especially over 23 acres of those sites there. But um, we have no incentive at all to keep these areas closed off. Um, we want to get them opened up. And I would imagine that there'll be some kind of compromise between grass establishment, plant establishment, and general access to the public. Okay, moving on to the highway works uh, as an update. Should be another drawing on the screen. Hopefully you can all see that. So during the last quarter, um, or the second quarter of the year, uh, we've completed about 200 metres of um, footway uh, and future cycleway uh, on Eagle Way in front of David Wilson Homes and Taylor Wimpy. Uh, and in the next quarter, the third quarter of this year, um, we look to complete another 200 metres. Um, somebody had asked a question regarding the grassed roundabout uh, on Pathfinder Way. That is still under our uh, control maintenance. It does look neglected. Um, we have reappointed another contractor actually to, to go and sort that area out. So within the next couple of weeks, uh, that area will be sorted, but we're just going to grass it or we'll seed the areas that had planting in there originally or previously, uh, and then seed those areas. So as I said, I thought we'd provide a, a, it would be useful to provide an update on the house building progress um, and the works currently anticipated completion or current anticipated completions of these completions and the completions on the local centre square, the local centre and the employment zone um, are key to enable us to complete the main infrastructure works, footways, cycleways and carriageways along Pathfinder Way, Stirling Road, Wellington Road, Lynx Lane uh, and Eagle Way. Before I get into that, I think it would be useful just to repeat again the three stages of the uh, construction delivery of the highway infrastructure that's kind of built into our multiple or multi-outlet uh, development model. So stage one, and this has happens before any of the house building works commence, is we come to site, uh, we clear the site, we carry out all the main earthworks, plateauing, creation of attenuation ditches and lakes. 
Uh, we complete any off-site highway improvements, in this case uh, for phase one, it was Station Road. We bring re uh, service reinforcements onto the site from other off-site uh, facilities. But we install the main distributor roads throughout the site. And again, in this case, that would have been and has been Pathfinder Way, Sterling Road, Lynx Lane, Wellington Road and Eagle Way. We take the, um, the, so the installation of the main road throughout the development, and this is only up to the underside of surface course, and this is installed with temporary sacrificial curbs. We also carry out installation of the main strategic utility mains, and these sit within the proposed footpaths, uh, and in this instance for North Stowe, phase one under the on-road cycleways. Stage two, this occurs during and following the progress of the building works. So service connections, removal of the temporary scaffold, sorry, temporary and sacrificial curbs. We install the permanent curbs. We construct the footways. And again, the on-road cycleways between the frontage buildings uh, and the roads. We carry out the installation of the streetlights and highway landscaping works where this is applicable. In stage three, we top out Complete all the finishing works, surface course uh, to the footways and roads. We install the permanent signage and we install the permanent road markings. As these, ways, these works progress to stage three works, uh, we then look to obtain uh, adoption of the on-site development highway uh, from the highway authority. In this instance, this is Cambridge County Council. So just with that as a backdrop, uh, looking, and what you've got actually on the screen there, um, it shows the current completions, uh, building housing completions and percentage completions of the individual building plots. So out of the summary, out of the 13 residential building plots that we have on phase one, four of them have been fully completed and the remaining eight, sorry, remaining nine, which I could do maths, are at different stages of completion ranging from just started, for instance, um, plot H13, Taylor Wimpy down on H13 has just started. Um, and plot H11, Taylor Wimpy and Eagle Way is almost complete. I think the total occupations to the middle of May throughout phase one was circa 800 and I think it was 39 that I saw. Um, and that's out of a planned total of 1500. So that kind of puts us at 55. I think Richard mentioned earlier, we were heading up for a thousand. So let's assume we're kind of 60% um, complete on occupations out of that 1500 and the build completions will be slightly uh, more than this. The good news uh, is that all the four house builders currently anticipate completing building works by the end of 2023. But uh, this is two years ahead of the, of the previous predictions uh, that were made 18 months ago. I'll emphasize at this point that it is conditional on the current buoyant housing market conditions continuing, um, but there's certainly commitment from the house builders uh, to achieve this target. Hopefully um, you're aware that the local center square, which uh, Ricardo mentioned earlier, and the uh, enterprise zone, sorry if I offended you by calling it something different, Ricardo, earlier on, uh, but they're now owned by SCD and you can see there is momentum behind these areas being developed as well. It, it's my understanding um, that completion of these areas um, are in roughly the time scale as completion of the house building works. So that's towards the end of 2023, 20, maybe just creeping into 2024. Um, but, you know, Andrew or certainly SCDC um, will need to confirm that. So, subject to the above. Um, this will mean by two years, and therefore we currently anticipate completing by the end of 2024, uh, achieving substantial completion. My internet connection became unstable there. Uh, by the end of 2024, and then adoption of the roads, they follow a 12-month maintenance period normally um, by the end of 2025. So again, just focusing in on the map on the screen, the, the blue lines represent the footways that we have uh, constructed, uh, completed to date, both the highway footways and the leisure route footways. Um, all the le leisure route footways that you see on there are complete, except a connection up between the, um, between where the pavilion, sports pavilion and the car park will be constructed. Um, but we do intend to put a temporary connection in there uh, before the end 
of August. Uh, accommodate the um that's scheduled for September. Some of these um some of the highway footways are, are fully complete with the topping on them and some of them are, are, are up to underside of surface course. I've also just noticed that we've missed the temporary footway that we put in um, from Sterling Lake to the busway. As I mentioned previously the delivery of the footways to stage two are fully dependent on the progress of the house building frontage works. So the service connections of the frontage houses are made by the house builders to our strategic, strategic service main, so the gas, water, electric, the telecoms uh, that we laid within the proposed footways and dedicated cycleways in stage one. So until these and the house building works have been fully completed, uh, we're not able to move on to our stage two works. So the leisure route footways in the water park and the section of Northern Greenway between Linden and Bovis Homes that you can see running through here in this section of the footways in the water park. As I said earlier, uh, we'll be looking to, to open that up in uh, August. There's also a missing section, I think I mentioned that earlier, of the footpath that runs between the pavilion and the car park. Uh, but that, again, that will be installed in August as temporarily, as mentioned earlier. So I think, as you can see, there is quite a good coverage of um, footway links running from east to west and, and north to south. Uh, but this will improve uh, as the quarters roll by over the next 30 months. So moving on to cycleways, these are shown here in red. The dedicated infrastructure cycleways are shown as a continuous red line. The combined footways and cycleways are shown as a dotted line. Me. The extent coverage and the connectivity of the dedicated highway cycleways, as you can see on here, I'll just flip back to the footways. This color is significant, significantly less, and there are gaps where the frontage house building works have not been completed. And where we have constructed footways ahead of the house building works, that's mainly in front of the enterprise zone, the mixed uh, local center um, area. They're mainly sacrificial um, and they'll have to be removed and replaced. So these gaps in the cycleway on the main infrastructure works will be filled in over the next 30 months. So during 2024, following completion of the building works and consequently a significant reduction in uh, construction traffic. And when we expect to have full connecti connectivity along the um, highway uh, dedicated cycleways. We'll apply the red topping to the dedicated cycleways, we'll install the associated signage and paint markings and at this point um, they will become operational as dedicated cycleways. Just moving on to the last slide here, that's just really a footnote uh, to what I've discussed earlier. Um, when the secondary school opened um, we installed or we signed and designated this footway route as a combined cycleway and footway so that there was uh, access down to the secondary school. So that concludes my uh, section of this and, and Sam, I believe you're going to pick up on the general connectivity site-wide. Yes, hi. Good evening, everyone. John, are you able to put up those, um, go back to the presentation? <laughs> so my slides are much more simplistic than Stephen's. And for that, I apologise. But I just wanted to talk generally about movement around North Day and particularly movement between phase one and phase two. Um, and then also to touch on movement between phase one and the secondary school campus. So you can see a plan here taken from OpenStreetMap, which is uh, very comprehensive for North Stone. And I've shown on the plan here, the blue lines are routes that are currently open and available to be used. Um, so these are highlighted really with the, the connection 
that Stephen's installed from the park and rides down to Stirling Road in the very top. I don't know if you can see my cursor moving about. Probably not. Okay. So hopefully you can follow where I'm talking about. Um, and then also the there's the, the, the section of the bus only road from Stirling Road going up to the Pathfinder School and then Pathfinder School to Eagle Ray. That's completed. And then on the western side, you've got the paths and routes within the western sports area. Thank you, John. I can see your, your cursor there. So um, other routes that are available to use is a connection from that western sports area into Magdalene Close, just in Longstanton, just to the just down a bit, John. Down a bit more. Uh, there, yep, there's a connection there into Longstanton and also to the south. Um, Maudlin Close, that's it, that area there, yep. And then from there, you can get onto Rampton, Rampton Road, I think it is, which goes to past Rampton, Rampton Drift, that area there. And um, Homes England have stored a tarmac uh, path that goes from Rampton Drift and links back onto Stirling Road. So you can see that there's a, there's a, it's a bit circuitous, but there's a route there of, of, if you didn't want to use the nice path that's been built along Stirling Road, um, that Stephen mentioned in his last slide, but that's an alternative route. Um, the red lines are routes that should be opening this year, and Stephen's touched upon the Northern Greenway, which is going from Pathfinder School past Linden and Bovis, and on all set of routes through the water park. And uh, that's it. Wonderful, John. Thank you. Um, and also the, the other red line in the centre of the image is um, the continuation of the bus only road and where it joins between phase one and phase two. Um, so you, if you go to the edge of Rampton Drift, you'll see that phase two Homes England have built their section and Stephen's built his bit and the two bits need to be joined up together now. And I think that's to be happening later on this year. Um, and that will afford another route that's, that's away from uh, vehicles um, from the centre of North Stowe, from you'll be able to go from Pathfinder School down that bus only road join up with the path at Rampton Drift and then across there onto Stirling Road. Now within phase two, Homes England have constructed the cycle paths um, to a um, slightly uh, newer standard than what Stephen's able to do because they're in Homes England's area, they have a separate routes that they can use for their construction lorries so they don't have to worry too much about the, the lorries damaging the road surface which is uh, the, the issue in phase one so once you join Stirling Road at the boundary into phase two which is where the, the path from Rampton Drift is and where the red line from the water park joins then you want a, a cycle path there all the way down to the secondary school so as you're if you're new to North Stowe, you'll kind of discover these routes and, and places and if you're a long-standing resident in North Stowe, hopefully you, you can follow where I'm talking about. John, could you move to the, oh, sorry, I'll talk about the purple lines. The purple lines are just the routes to happen in the future. So that's the Southern Greenway principally. Um, and as Stephen was saying, they, those will be in um, by 2024, um, but they, they really complement the, the movement network. And as the houses and the parcels get completed, then all of the different routes through those parcels, which are designed to connect from parcel to parcel and almost be a, an extra network of routes, they will take shape and form. And a good example of that is the, the green area within, um, I think, Taylor Impey's plot, H11. Um, John, if you can move your cursor right into the centre. Yeah, so there's a green route that passes from there roughly down to Eagle Ray. And then that will cross over into the next parcel and join up essentially the Southern Greenway with the Northern Greenway. And if you go to the Northern Greenway and you're at the, uh, the area between Pathfinder School and Linden Homes, you'll see a bridge. And you think, what's that bridge there for? Well, that bridge is to, to connect that route across the Greenway into the parcel, which is yet to be started. Um, between that Greenway and the Bus Only Road. So it's a, another network of routes that will appear over time. John, if you could go to the next slide, if possible. Now, work that's immediately on the horizon and that the County Council is focused on and the Town Council is focused on and there have been several questions in the chat about 
is is how do we connect from Long Stanton Park and Ride into North Stay? And this is really shown with the, again, we've got the blue lines and the red lines that I talked about, so the blue that's possible now. And many thanks to, to Stephen for being able to install the, the blue line from Stirling Road to the Park and Ride that you can see on the left-hand side of the image. And have you got your cursor around anyway, John? Yep, somewhere there. And the purple lines are the lines that the County Council is focused on delivering. So at the top end, the path link to connect from the park and ride to the path within the water park. And then towards the middle of the image, the north-south link, which is the bus only road. Um, and again, we've, we've been working on these links for some time. Um, the key issue for us is funding, and we've tried to resolve that. And um, so in terms of time scales and delivery time scales, I can't give you a date. I'd love it to be September, but you know, for the for the path link at least. Um, but I don't know. So I'm not going to promise anything. Um, it's all to do with colleagues and I'm trying to facilitate those discussions and and get colleagues focused on on those schemes um, and also find money for them. Um, so that's an update for me and happy to take any questions.